Hey, when we had a terrible recession, if you listen to the economists, they'll tell you, we never climbed out of that until 2015. It took seven years. What we just experienced over the last couple of years with COVID had an impact in ways that really have yet to be calculated. So we look at every single opportunity we can on an ongoing basis to help with economic recovery. And this program that Amy's going to talk about today is something I'm really proud of. It's just one more effort, and we'll continue to look for every effort we can possibly make to help with this. I'd like to bring up Amy Asabaya, Director of the Office of Economic Revitalization. Thanks. Thank you, Mayor Blanchiardi, and thank you to the Chamber and the Oahu Wedding Association for being here with us today. Um, you guys have stood with us well. Um, we've developed this program in acknowledgement of the harm and suffering that was caused to a lot of businesses due to various um, aspects of the COVID pandemic. So we look forward today to helping to stabilize families and businesses as we emerge from the pandemic. We're focused at OER on planting the seeds of a post COVID economy that is more diverse, equitable, and provide good jobs for our people. So our strategy has included, as the mayor mentioned, the rental and utility relief program to help struggling households. Um, we're gonna get some grants out this week to some small farmers. We're really looking forward to that. And today, we're announcing the Oahu Business Recovery Grants with the Chamber of Commerce. This program is $10 million that's funded by the administration's share of the state and local fiscal recovery funds. Um, it's for small businesses on Oahu that have endured a major loss during the pandemic. So on January 30th, we will start accepting grant applications from 400 small businesses across the island. We encourage all small businesses that have been financially affected by the pandemic to see if they can qualify, and if so, please take advantage of this program. Giving disadvantaged and very small businesses access to applications is very important to the mayor and to the city, and we're grateful, um, sincerely, that the chamber is working with all the ethnic chambers and some other small business organizations to provide more information to help these very small mom and pop businesses to apply. So the chamber is going to have applications available in Hawaiian, uh, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, Vietnamese, Tagalog, and Spanish. And so we hope this will help make the grants available to a larger pool of those small mom and pop businesses. This program was developed hand in hand with the chamber. So we thank them for all the hard effort um, to roll this out on January 30th. And we just wanna say that we've learned a lot as we've um, developed this program with them and we've been listening and we really hope it meets the needs of small businesses, especially those like um, members of the Oahu Wedding Association who um, not too long ago were outside uh, the mayor's office um, asking for some kind of relief. And I'm happy to say today that the mayor is delivering on that promise that, you know, we're with you and we understand the challenges. So first and foremost, I'd like to bring up Sherry Menor McNamara from the chamber. Small business here it, are the heartbeat of our economy. Um, can you imagine many of our small businesses have spent years and decades building their business, just experienced the worst um, time uh, in, in, in running their business within a, such a short time period. Uh, some of them took out loans, some of them took out their savings, uh, some of them borrowed from family, friends, uh, and so they were very devastated by the pandemic. And even though we're a few years, a couple of years past, many of them are still climbing out of that deep hole. On top of that, Many are facing other challenges, such as the workforce shortage, inflation, supply chain issues, and an economy where we don't know what will happen this year. So we just wanted to thank the mayor and Office of Economic Development for allowing the chamber to partner with them uh, for providing this much needed relief to our small businesses. So I'm gonna restate some of the facts that Amy provided about this program. So when we partner with more than 30 ethnic chambers and organizations to form the public of this grant, and over the next three weeks, we'll be running social media campaigns, as well as target outreach in English and other languages, as well as numerous webinars. And grants will be distributed ranging from $15,000 to 
to $50,000 depending on the size of business. So who can qualify? Oahu small businesses that have endured a 25% drop in revenue or more during the COVID-19 pandemic. The business has had gross revenue between $75,000 and $5 million in 2019 based on tax and financial documents. And at least one owner is a Hawaii resident and the applicant's business must be operating on Oahu. The completed applications will be funded on a first come first serve basis until grant funds are exhausted and no application is guaranteed funding. So we encourage all small businesses to apply, including women owned businesses, minorities, veterans, and those from the LGBTQ community. Applications will be accepted beginning January 30th, giving businesses much needed time to gather the tax and financial records needed to apply. And to help business prepare to apply, OER and the Chamber of Commerce are holding the first informational webinar on Wednesday, January 11th at 2 p.m. at OER's Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash oer.honolulu. And you don't need a Facebook account to watch it. And the webinar will stay on OER's Facebook page for businesses that cannot attend on Thursday. For further webinars and information, please be sure to follow the Chamber's social media accounts or also go to the OER website or the Chamber website at coc.hawaii.org. And again, I'd like to extend our warmest appreciation for the Mayor and OER office for recognizing the hardships that many of our small and local businesses face in the past couple of years and moving forward together. Mahalo. All right, I wanna start by thanking the mayor and Sherry and everyone at your offices for making this grant come to life. For the last two years, I've served as the president of the Oahu Wedding Association. And all I can say is it's been a really challenging time for so many small business owners like ours. Many of our businesses were completely shut down during the height of the pandemic. And because we are not brick and mortar type of businesses, we didn't qualify for critical financial aid to critical financial aid to stay afloat. I can recount so many heartbreaking conversations with my colleagues that had drained their savings or had maxed out their credit cards just to keep their businesses afloat. The Oahu Wedding Association desperately reached out to the mayor's office and asked for help to save our businesses. Mayor Blangiardi and his office both listened and got to understand how businesses how businesses like ours really struggled for over two years. We were honored to work with the Office of Economic Revitalization throughout the following year and be included in the grant writing process to assist small businesses like ours that had been severely impacted by the pandemic. I have to say this grant and the fact that we're here today is a huge testament to our elected officials for listening to the needs of our small business communities. This grant will provide much needed financial aid to small businesses on Oahu that have struggled for the past two years. Again, I wanna thank Mayor Blangiardi, the Chamber of Commerce, Amy, Vivian, everyone at the Office of Economic Revitalization for listening, but most importantly, making this grant happen. Thank you. Well, this, I wanna showcase the men and women here who put this together. Um, and Joe, thank you very much for your acknowledgement. I, I mean, I go back, since Amy alluded to it, I mean, when we first met, you guys were out there, and we heard you then. There was only so much we could do, and we tried to navigate through the tier system as aggressively as we could to get weddings to happen again and get everybody else back to work. And boy, it's just, it's been such an arduous process. So you get to a moment in time like this, and I appreciate your enthusiasm and excitement because it is about recovery, right? We're trying to not only stabilize, we're trying to go forward into our future. And, and we're gonna do everything we can to help. So thank you for that acknowledgement. But thank you especially to the men and women from OER who've taken on to come and decide to do this kind of work because it is so significant for our community. And again, this is really a new endeavor for the city. You know, we only had one person which was really kind of in the Office of Economic Development before. This is an evolution of thought and of execution at a time when it was really, really appropriate. And more than anything, I think it reflects how we're thinking in office right now about what our responsibility is and what we can do to help our small businesses, which everybody knows is the backbone of this community. 
You know, we live in a place of entrepreneurs. We really do. In my past life, I really had a great appreciation for that because so much of what we did in the broadcast industry was directly connected to helping small businesses succeed. So I think early on, I felt this in a really palpable way because I understood having signed a lot of credit statements over the years, how people just really, as we have families who live paycheck to paycheck, knew the businesses were making it paycheck to paycheck, month to month, with not a lot of reserve. And this came in and was easily get completely wiped out. And, and so we had a lot of feeling for that. And, and I'm just grateful we were able to put this together uh, and just more and more each and every day get on with our lives.